DJ Hype Focus. Hype Focus. It's all about the Artist Vibe Expo, showcasing all artists and all arts. If you're trying to be part of the movement or just be a witness, just stay tuned. It's about the vibe, man. Last name is the Pina Vega, so I took out the Pina, kept Vega. Pierre was my grandfather's last name. And it's for the last three years, but I've been picking up a paintbrush my whole life. And I see. Um, all my paintings will have my custom frames connected to them, and it you see is like it's multi-layered. The reason why I did that is because Whenever you stare at art, it's a thought process. It's not just, okay, it's, you know, a rainfall with a sun. It is a thought process that's multi-layered. So I said, why not make my paintings actually multi-layered? So I, every picture you ever see me want to make is going to have a custom frame that is going to have you think, before just looking at the art, you're going to think twice. Like, why did he make that frame that shape? Why did he get that gap? Why did he do this? Why did he do that? And because I wanted a signature, signature touch. I pick out one color, I throw it on a canvas, and then I pick another color that complements that. And I honestly, I don't plan it too far ahead. I start with one color, and then the next color comes natural. Because I know what just feels right. I just throw paint on there. And once it starts forming, I know what I'm doing. It's just, every step is clear afterwards. So I always start maybe with, with the eyes, but not, I can start anywhere on the canvas, but I always just, I throw it on so it builds up layers. So it tones the background. So it's just my process. It's sloppy, but it works. Uh, I don't really know what my style is. I don't really, I want my style to be big again. But if I had to say what my style's influenced by, yeah, my paintings pop. What I call it, pop art? No. Um, I really don't know. Hopefully, Phineas now, my style is, would be my genre, and everybody else would be falling to my genre of painting. But as far as my style, good art, in my opinion. Then I'll be able to decide what they feel. But I think that's my style. It's no style. Um, professionally, my goals are, you know, just to do a new painting tomorrow. I don't, I don't expect, or, you know, of course I want my work to be sold, and of course I want to be go down in history books with the names of, you know. Knock on wood, Picasso, Dolly, Andy Wall, Chester John, you know, all the big timers. But if my work just is passed on to my kids, that'll be good with me. So my goals are just to continue painting. That's it. They can look at my work at vegapierre.com or my Instagram at vegapierre. Or artist vibes, yeah. or you can come to the art show and see it, in, see it in person. All right. Well, you heard it here first. It's your band DJ Hype Focus, artistvibes.com. Also, we have a show coming up. And what is it? August six. August six at Focusing Tattoo Shop, three ten Amsterdam Ave. Make sure you have come down here. Vega Pierre will be exhibiting his work. And we'll also have a couple of Tri-State's, you know, top painters in the building to showcase, showcase their work as well. So if you're in the area, come through August 6th, 310 Amsterdam Ave, Roselle, New Jersey, focusing tattoo shop. All right, peace. About his vibes. I'm not going to record, just, just say. Uh, I can tell it was recorded. It's a red dot. <laughs> <laughs> what got me into art was see now I'm getting aggressive with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. So I just start talking. And now it's recording.
to like once the camera comes on, now, I don't even know what to do now. Like, what do I do with my ears? Start with. Cut that back. Cut this out. No, you had it perfectly. No, I don't like. I don't want to. I don't want to go down the tattoo.